Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Bradley. Loud hair doesn't mean I don't care. Hmm. Sounds strange, doesn't it? But you know what? All through the choice of hairstyle, sadly, we get judged. And people do do it. And sometimes people don't even recognise how quite unkind, quite nasty a look can be. So I wore my hair like this on the Saturday just gone. I went into a supermarket and I got quite a filthy look off of one or two people just by a judge, just just being judged. Um, and yeah, it was really quite unkind. I've had it a few times actually wearing this style. If I've worn the hairstyle sort of with more volume than this, and sometimes I have. I have this as long as I've ever had my hair. So Saturday it was a bit higher than this. Um, but the sides, as you can see, real combed and swooped back and loads of volume. Looks super, super cool. It's a hairstyle. But the look I got was so sort of demeaning, so sort of belittling and made me feel like you're judging me in just split seconds just on how I've passed the brush through my hair today. And I find that really quite sad that actually people still do that. Now, I'm a person who was brought up who I do not hate anybody. I do not hate a person on this earth at all. It's physically not within my nature to. I try to help everyone. I try to be polite and helpful, and I would absolutely help anybody on this earth at all. When you see people sometimes, in a matter of five seconds, create this sort of persona of you, and it's almost like that I was, I, it was a busy supermarket. I got a couple of looks, one from an older couple, um, one from a younger couple actually, um, as well. And in a couple of split seconds, it just kind of changed my whole mood to think, thanks. And I just walked on. But I thought the last actually on you. So if this happens to you, just think, just actually take a moment and just concentrate on yourself and bid yourself back up, build yourself back up. So I had a look much to say, and literally, if looks could kill, it was from the top of my hair downwards. And I thought, number one, you haven't really got very little hair. You've got very little hair. So I understand. I understand that. Next one. You're judging me as though you looked at me as though I'm a nothing. Um, which is really sad. It was really, really awful. And I thought to myself, the laugh's on you because I've got a CV full of qualifications. Um... I work in accountancy, I'm in a senior role, just because I've got loud hair doesn't mean I don't care, I'm a nice person, I would care and take care and look after anyone and be kind, I don't have a nasty bone in my body at all. Why, why do people do that to one another? Just through the choice of hair, and you know what, I've seen it myself, people through different hair colour choices people judge and look. Unfortunately, I think that's just that's just human nature, unfortunately, in some people. But, you know, it really, really wound me up. And I thought to myself, you know what? I'm, I come to my channel to vent, to get things off my chest, to talk about things. And I have some amazing comments to come, to come back and support me and to sort of brainstorm out different thoughts and things of what I've sort of shared on here. Um, and that really makes me feel good that I can, I can express things here and, and people have the same sort of thoughts or somebody may help me with something. But this is just really just to think, wow, we live in a society, unfortunately, where just through how we pass a brush through our hair, that people will judge us. Yeah. Um, what do you think of that? Strange, isn't it? So actually, a couple of a couple of looks that I got. A couple of people, a couple of people, I had really cool hair. I had that as one comment. And I said, wow, that must take you. And somebody said, um, wow, that must take you a hell of a long time to do. And I said, it actually does. And someone said, really, really good. And I said, thank you. So do you know what I mean? And I always, I always much prefer, if somebody's got something to say, ask a question. Never, ever stare. Do you know, I, it's like with my hearing aids. I would sooner somebody asked a question than just stared. I was actually in a clothes store about a month ago now. Um, I wasn't, it was, it was long, it was not, not long after, actually, um, my operation, so I still wasn't in a very good place at all, um, and it was one of my first times, I think, of being out, and I was stood with my mum, and I was waiting to pay for something, and there was a reflective piece of, uh, like, um, like a protective sort of shield between the, uh, the, the counters, where, um, what are they called, like, tills, where, where you pay for the goods, and, um, 
I could see in the reflection um, a youngish girl with her mother, and um, she looked, and I and I was I was having a chat with my mum at the same time, and um, I could see this girl, and uh, she looked to her mum and went like this. I saw, wow. And of course, being having a hearing problem, something was said, but I didn't hear. Now, it could have been a positive one. Absolutely, I hold my hands up. It could have been great hair, or it could have been, wow, he's got hearing aids in. But I just thought, if that would have been my daughter, I would have perhaps corrected and said, actually, don't do not do that. That's quite, that's, that's really quite rude to do that. But of course, being it was behind my back, they didn't think that I could see in the screen in front of me. Another thing, isn't it, there? Never, ever judge. I know it's so easy to, and we can all be guilty of doing that. I am not perfect by any means, but the difference is, I try to, if I make a mistake, I really do try my best to rectify that, and if I do something which I think, actually, that was really quite awful, or that wasn't quite right, or I should have done that the wrong, another way, I know for next time. But I just think, wow, I really do, and I mean, it's been literally bugging me. I was getting ready this morning. I thought, yeah, I am going to go for a, another big pompadour style hair today. I thought, just because of those looks, I'm in a professional role, in a senior role. I've worked damn hard. I've got a CV with absolutely loads of qualifications. But there's another thing. Does it make you happy? That's not what makes you happy, to be quite honest with you, at all. Um, but I'm very, very proud of it. So certainly don't judge me just on being having loud hair. Because I really, really, really do care. Okay, so thank you for listening to my little bit of a vent there. Um, it's all positive, believe you me, it is all positive. Um, and actually, here's a here's a here's a funny thing as well. Somebody recently um, said in a joke that you're a bit stuck up, and I said, yeah, absolutely. I've worked I've worked real hard. But the difference with me is that I think it's okay if you want to be that way, as long as you respect what's around you and what's what's sort of in your community, in your society. Never ever do anything on the back of somebody or or push somebody aside. It's okay to think, actually, yeah, this is really, really good about me or I've done really, really good here, but just show respect. Be polite, be friendly. There. And what a thing, they're all free, aren't they? They're all free in this world. <laughs> so thanks very much for sharing this with me. And as always, if you do have any questions, or if you do want to leave me a comment or anything like that down below, then please do so, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks very much indeed. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye for now. And I will keep smiling, so you keep smiling too. Bye for now.